Let's go! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is vlog number 13, and let's cut right to the chase. Today's topic is what is the difference between overeating and binge eating? For those of you who have followed me long enough, you know that I go hard when I travel. And I and, and there's another video on my channel where I explain my philosophy behind the way I eat. So I'm not going to waste any time. If you guys really are interested in why I eat the way I eat on vacation uh, and on my, my travels, you can go back and watch that video. I think it's pretty succinct and easy to follow. But needless to say, cliff notes, I eat whatever I want and however much of I, I want. Now... For, the, for people who are ignorant, don't take offense to this, you might, I, I'm not meaning to insult you, but some people are just ignorant uh, to the differences between overeating, uh, eating a lot, you know, going, going hard on the food, and binge eating. Because people will see me eat like I do on um, vacation, and they think it's strange that a recovered binge eater would eat like that. Some people have even accused, have even accused me of binge eating on vacation, which you know, I take offense to that. And some people mistakenly use the term uh, binge when they're referring to how I eat. There is a stark contrast between binge eating and overeating. And I'm going to tell you the, the, the biggest difference between the two is mindfulness. That's what it comes down to. Mindfulness. Making, when I, when I go, when I travel, I make the mindful decision to eat as much as I want however much of it I want and completely disregard calorie content. Now, understand that I eat to the point where uh, I'm pretty bloated and uh, I feel fat, but I never eat to the point where I'm painfully full. My wife and I share a lot of food. We eat a lot of small things here and there. Um, it's not a contest to see uh, who can eat more. I'm not trying to impress anybody with how much I eat on these trips. Mostly what happens is when I go to wherever I'm going, um, it, it's usually a food city, you know, a place with a lot of food. And in order for me to get my money's worth and my time's worth, I have to eat very frequently. And so you guys see that. I don't finish a lot of the things I post and I do, but I do finish some things and some big things. And, you know, I'm doing that because it's enjoyable. I'm eating because of the experience, the social experience with my wife and whoever else uh, I might meet up with in my travels. And for the memories, eating to me now is about, uh, when we travel, is about not how much I can eat, but how cool a thing I can eat. I always try to seek out the coolest stuff and it's about making memories. It's just all, like I said, it's mindful. I'm thinking about all these things. I'm making these decisions and I know when I get back, my weight you know, I just got back from Texas. My weight's up about seven pounds, six to seven pounds in six days. I'm not mad about it. I knew, I knew going in that was going to happen. I made that decision. I made the mindful decision to say, I'm going to eat whatever I want and deal with the consequences later, not feel guilty whatsoever. Conversely, binge eating is a psychological disorder, right? Binge eating, just it's binge eating disorder. When you binge eat, you are not in control. You are not making the mindful decision to eat uh, until you hurt. You are eating because something has triggered your binging disorder, whether it be loneliness, uh, any kind of emotional distress. You're eating to cope. It is a co it, you're coping with something. You're not eating for the social experience, for the memories, for the flavor. You're eating to to numb something. You're eating to not feel uh, a hard part of your life that's going on right now or has happened in the past. And that right there, guys, this is a short video. That right there is the difference. You can look it up uh, clinically, the definition of binge eating, and you'll see that it's very defined. If you think you've, you're, you suffer from binge eating disorder, I would, I would highly suggest you go to the eating disorder awareness website in my, uh, in my description down here. And look at the and look at the the characteristics of binge eating disorder, and really take a hard look at yourself in the mirror and say, "Hey, uh, I need some help," because if you're just overeating, and, and if you're if you, if you do it from time to time, you know maybe you just have, you whatever eat a whole pizza. That's not binge eating disorder, guys. Uh, maybe you do have some you know, bad relationship with food, maybe some disordered eating habits, but you do not have binge eating disorder. 
there's a huge difference between overeating and binge eating. And it all comes down to mindfulness. Thanks for watching, guys. I look forward to your comments. And uh, if you have any suggestions for more videos, please hit me up. Once again, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay strong. Let's go!